Hey guys, what's happening? It is Nate from Player Court. Today we're taking a look at the Nick Curio serve, and we're gonna talk about two tips, two takeaways that you can apply to your serve to immediately help it. All right, and this is for Player Court players of all ratings. You don't have to be super advanced to apply these two tips, although we're talking about a super advanced serve. All right, today's footage is from Love Tennis. Great site, really great videos of, of pro players. Um, so be sure to give that a, a, a look. All right, so let's jump in to tip number one, and this is start with the head up on the serve. All right, and the reason being is that the tossing arm is gonna go where the head goes. So if you have an issue of dropping your head on the serve, this is a great way to start the serve, okay? So well, even if you have a hitch and you're not really sure where it's coming from, maybe this is the solution, all right? Because of what we see a lot of players, their line of sight starts parallel with the baseline or even down. I mean, if you look at Sophia Kinnan, that line of sight down is definitely problematic. But as your arm comes up to the head at parallel to the baseline, you, you have to track, your eyes and your head have to track up with the, the tossing arm. And sometimes this creates a hitch. It's a jerking motion, all right? And if that arm jerks through the toss, Sometimes this is the case. So start with that head up and keep that line of sight even. And what you're gonna see here, this is an incredible position, all right? This power position, all right? From the hitting elbow to the tossing hand, you can see that that line of sight never deviates from it. I'll, I'll just go back here and work back up to the motion. And you can see that line staying even with that line of sight. All right, so that is definitely something you can copy. Some of you might be thinking, is it the elbow low? Sure, a little bit, but not for Nick Kyrgios. We're talking about superhuman rotator cuff. Um, and this is creating, uh, you know, for a professional athlete, he has the ability to create a longer lever and more momentum by keeping the elbow lower. I don't know that I'd recommend it for most recreational players, but for him, it makes sense. All right, so let's start with tip number two, or let's talk about tip number two. Tip number two is pretty unique. I actually have rarely seen it uh, just a hand couple of times, but it, I really do think it can be applied to most players. And this is Nick actually rocks the grip and the racket back. All right, he's keeping his hand extremely loose here, and we he initiates the motion. The, the racket doesn't stay on a neutral plane, it actually lifts back. So here you can see the racket moving back, all right? Let's start from that beginning phase, sorry. All right, rock it right there. You can see it moving back, all right? And what this does, it also builds momentum because as the rocket goes back, it then comes forward, all right? So this rocking motion helps keep the wrist nice and loose. It helps build momentum as the rocket comes up to that power position, you know, moving through that right to left motion. All right, right to love motion. We want that racket moving on this plane to get into that nice power position. All right, and from here, the racket operates just behind the head as the elbow raises, and that gives us that wonderful racket drop. Okay, so not getting into all the technique today. We just want to focus on, again, keeping the head up, starting with the line of sight up on the serve, and then initiating with the hand rocking back as you initiate the serve to help keep it stay loose. All right, I'll put this in slow-mo. Guys, I really hope, I'll go back a little bit, right? We wanna see the whole thing. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's instruction. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. It absolutely helps a ton. Hit subscribe uh, and if you never wanna miss a video. And if you want help with your serve, if you want analysis from your serve, maybe with a cross sectional analysis with Nick Curios, check out Player Court Plus where you can get video analysis from myself or Scott. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.